On a previous episode, we talked about masking your footage inside of Premiere Pro, but if you're needing precision, then it's probably best for you to take your footage over to After Effects to do your rotoscoping there. Originally, rotoscoping was the equipment used by animators to project a live action image to TraceOver. Later, when visual effects became more prominent, that idea evolved into rotoscoping, which was the act of manually creating a mat for an element to be composited over another background. For years, this method was the only way to rotoscope, creating masks and keyframing the mask pattern could take hours or potentially days depending on your footage. But Adobe has been working to speed that process up with their updated Rotobrush 3.0 tool powered by a new AI model. With this, you can use the Rotobrush to quickly draw strokes around your subject and After Effects will use that information to separate the foreground and background elements. So today we're gonna learn how to use the Rotobrush tool most effectively. With your footage inside of After Effects, go up to the panel and click on the Roto Brush tool. If you don't see it, hold down the Refine Edge tool and you'll see the option to use the Roto Brush. Or if you want, you can use the shortcut Alt W on Windows or Option W on Mac. With your brush selected, you'll notice that you won't be able to use it right away. That's because this tool will not work inside of your composition window. Instead, double click your footage and you're now able to use your brush. To increase the brush size, go to Window, Brushes, and bump up the diameter to what you need here. You can also hold Control on Windows or command on Mac, then drag your mouse up and down to change the brush size. Now you should have this green colored icon with the plus sign. This is what you will use to trace around your subject. You don't have to trace in one go if you don't want. Instead, you can draw on multiple strokes until you have your element selected. If there's an area you would like to remove, hold down Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, and you'll see this red color icon with the minus symbol. Now you can brush out any areas that you don't want masked. This may take a minute, but once you have a solid mask that you're happy with, tap the spacebar or hit play and After Effects will start to render your mask frame by frame. If you need to make adjustments on any frame, simply pause, use your roto brush to make your adjustments and After Effects will continue without affecting your previously rendered frames. If you're dealing with something a bit more difficult to mask like hair, that's when you're gonna wanna utilize the refine edge tool. Just hold down the roto brush tool icon, click refine edge tool and use this tool to brush over your subject's hair. Whatever is left in white will be left in the mask and whatever is highlighted with black will be removed. You can click these icons underneath the layer panel to get a better view at what you're masking. And you also have the choices between toggling X-ray, alpha, alpha boundary, and alpha overlay. And if you want to change the color and opacity on the ladder, just click the box next to its icon and change the opacity percentage. Once you have your mask fully rendered, the final step is to tap freeze over on the right of these icons. This will finalize your mask so you don't accidentally make any unwanted adjustments. But if you notice an adjustment you missed, you can unfreeze your mask by clicking the freeze button again. And once you jump back to your compositing window, you will have your masked out subject. Now in effects controls, you can feather your mask, use shift edge to add a little choke to your mat. And you even have the option to check this use motion blur box, which will add artificial motion blur to your mask for a more convincing effect. Now you can composite your subject into a scene or add any elements between them and the background. So there you have it. This tool is truly a time saver and is only getting better with each version thanks to the integrated AI. But that is it for today. If you have something that you'd like to see us cover in the future, feel free to drop us a comment below. And subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and updates like this one, because if you don't, I will find you and ask politely.